Hi ho. Welcome back, club. Good morning. I'm in a crafting crisis. Oh no. <clears throat> Our gaming group started to play Star Wars Legion about last Christmas or something like that. Um, and I started in January, February uh, 2023. I bought a, a cool starter bundle, um, built the minis, painted the minis, uh, read the rules, did some play testing, uh, printed some minis, printed a lot of minis. <laughs> They're cool patrons for uh, Star Wars proxies. Proxy, proxy. And uh, painted a lot of minis, and I did not really craft a lot, only a little bit. I was a, a lot into mini painting, mini painting this first half of the year. So I'm in a crafting crisis. Um, let's break it. Yeah, last night's game is still on the table. Let's clean up the table a little bit. Yeah, blaster. Um, so, I built this gaming board a long time ago for my Grimdark Future games, and yeah, it's. Um, I don't like it anymore. So, the idea is to, to upgrade it a little bit. See this uh, walkway thing? It's like minis cannot stand on it. <laughs> Oh no, it's a mess I'm behind there on the working table. And with the power of magic, the pile of frame shifted to the gaming table and we can work now. Let's use some plaster, PVA, dirt, sand, water and uh, mix it and try to bevel out the, the walkway. Yeah. At first I wanted to save it a little bit, but <laughs> didn't work. Massage it in, massage, massage, massage. Okay, I just took a dribble. I just took a break um, because all the plaster needs to dry and stuff. And I had an idea, uh, a shower idea. You know, uh, the best ideas are while you're sitting on the toilet or in the shower. <laughs> True. So let's see what we have here. Ninety by ninety, three by three. Four more of them. It's three, man. And this one is one of my first. Um, it's a, it's a, yeah, a grotto thing. Like I used it twice for uh, tabletop role-playing games. Um, one with kids, one with uh, grown-ups. Yeah. And it is totally useless for tabletop Whoa. games. Uh, the thing is. Uh, most of the games have a uh, board, a big board like uh, six by four. Um, Star Wars Legion has six by three. Yeah. So I have uh, two boards, three by three, and if I put them together, it's six by three. Yee -hee! Right. Yes. <laughs> so let's make a combined modular mm. board. Yeah. Containing of those two th things because I have them already. Yes. yes and yes, I will yes, never yes, use yes. the grotto again. So let's rip everything off and then Ooh, rip it off, rip it off. It's heavy. Like, well, you just weak. Uh, it's a cool thought, but totally useless to play. I will show you. Um, we have a, a main entrance here, mm -hmm. then some kind of island in here. Platform, platform small walkway 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 up to the platform you can put something on top to play on top that was the idea to have a top level and an underground level and then uh, we have the walkway down to here so you can climb in there or take the ship and stuff blah 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 take the ship um yeah i had two really cool uh, sessions on it yeah and uh, it's time to say goodbye <laughs> See how we can kill it. Kill it. Ooh, hammer. Spatula. There we go. 
complete the Sir Bachelor. Watch out! My best friend. Let's measure the height differences with my thumb. So I want one third to be raised. So let's mark that in. It's a little bit more boring with only a a straight line so we do some variations uh, but try to uh, keep the modularity the outer parts uh, like a what can we call it like a, a barrier with xps please don't cut yourself the thing is sharp Then I fill in the, the mountains with old, dirty, nasty styrofoam. Cut rough shapes. Clean up those bubbles. This is uh, styrofoam glue. Some weights. Puzzle in some pieces to fill out the mountain. Weigh it down and let it dry overnight. Then I fill the gaps with extruding foam from a spray can. I got this pistol spray can system. You reuse the pistol every time and only have the cans without the straw. This is about two cans of extruding foam. Yeah, it has to cure. I just have it had it set overnight. Now I'm uh, testing the modularity if it works. So this <laughs> should work. Flatlands with uh, hills on both sides. In my head, I'm already playing on there with minis and I'm seeing the sculpted landscape. So now uh, turn it around and have um, the mountain in the middle and the flatlands on both sides. That means if you deploy on the long uh, sides, you have no line of sight in the beginning. That is, uh, I guess it's fun for some scenarios. If you have to seize objectives in the middle. And those damn snipers are useless. <laughs> yeah, so now let's shape it a little bit. And I'm uh, testing the slope with a mini. A mini that is uh, falling over real pretty easily. If this one can stand, every other mini can also stand there. So this is, is a really slow, fine tuning process. My best friend again. So now I tested the connection on this one side from side to side also has to look good this does not look good this has to go added some more this slope was too steep, so I wanted to flatten it out. I 
I took my time with that. I was really relaxed on this build. This is the old bread knife. Yeah, always test, testing, testing, testing. Let's work on the transition from the flatland to the flatland. In the middle of the flatter board, I left it deeper, like a yeah, like a pit. Let's cover everything with the plaster, PVA and water. I directly mix it over the board, so if something spills, like just right now, <laughs> it spills on the board and it does not matter. This is a fun process um, and I want you to show how I take my time with mixing the plaster to the right consistency. So if it gets too wet, you put in some more plaster. If it's too dry, you put in some more water. And then I just rub it on. I'm using gloves. Plaster is pretty aggressive to the skin and with this much plastering I protect myself. Before the plaster is dry I put on the first coat of dirt and sand so it hardens while drying. So now I'm uh, drowning everything. I'm literally drowning everything in uh, hmm. PVA, watered down PVA after I sprayed on some 50-50 water iso mix. That's a proper no. Um, yeah, and I show you why I do it. The drowning. Yes, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Ooh. So see here, here is a lake yeah. of watered down PVA uh -huh. and it's running down, running down, yeah. running down. Cool. And off onto the floor. Oh no. I don't care about the floor, it's an old carpet stuff, so it's okay. good. Suck it up. Yeah, suck it up. Look at this. What is it? You cannot make this by hand. No. Erosion. Erosion. Natural erosion. So that's why I drown it. Okay. Makes sense. So this is the 50-50 water isopropanol mix in an old deodorant bottle, spray bottle. And this is a, a 1 to 4 water PVA mix in a food bottle. This is the erosion. Here it's visible even more. That looks so great. I love it. And now everything dried and I'll wanna, I wanna see how it looks with the scattered terrain on and uh, all my Star Wars minis on. This <laughs> took a really long time to set up all the figures. But yeah, 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 I like it. I imagine to, to play on there. Hey, it's Obi-Wan and, and uh, Anakin. And oh yeah, the Bad Batch in the front. On oh, some Wookiees. A lot of jungle terrain. Yeah. I like it. It's cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm looking forward to playing a game. Wokies, some clone troops. Oh, there was Padme. Some snipers. Slept over it and came up with the following decision. Mm. In spots like this, mm. I want some greenery. Moss or what? Here. Maybe in here. Yeah. Maybe in you here. Just do it. PVA, spread it out with an old brush, stippling. 
We start with a homemade uh, flock from sawdust. Then I put on some turf, you know, the green sponge, really fine. <laughs> And then I have a darker sponge, a little bit bigger pieces. Yeah, so that's it, basically. I'm fading it out with my fingers a little bit in places where I think it doesn't look good. It's just a feeling. So this is what we have. And yeah, I was asked how I can uh, do a thing so fast, uh, a, a game board. So this is how I do it. I just move faster, you know? That's everything. That's the whole trick. Yeah, what is this? So I have those bigger chunks of uh, green sponge. <laughs> and um, I want to make bushes, but they don't stick if I applied uh, like I did the other stuff. So I have this small cup, put the bigger pieces in there, put some PVA in there, and then I mix it in the cup. So the PVA can soak into the foam pieces. And then I take them with my fingers in, in bigger clumps and uh, just stick it where I want it to be. This will dry rock hard. Okay, so hmm, check this out. I forgot to check one transition there. So let's uh, rip a piece out and uh, put some plaster on it and some dirt and then this will work. I only checked the other side connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mason. I'm a, I'm a foam mason. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then put some plaster on it and uh, sprinkle some dirt over it. And then uh, we have a nice, nice, nice transition. Side also. So let's check out if all sides fit. I like it. Yeah. Um, see ya. Uh...